and gentlemen, my name is Pauline, currently a year one student studying in business enterprise IT, class BT1403. Today I'll be presenting about environmental issues and the topic that I'll be covering today is on global warming. So this is the content that I'll be covering. The content that I'll be covering today is what is our objective for this presentation, what is global warming and the cause of global warming, the effect on global warming and how global warming may affect us. And lastly, solutions on how to reduce global warming. So what is our objective for today? The objective is to raise awareness about global warming and also what is global warming and the cost and effects of global warming that will affect us in the long run. And also how serious is global warming that is actually affecting our day-to-day -day activities and life. And we wanted to encourage more environmental friendly activities and also provide possible solutions to reduce global warming. So what is global warming? Global warming is a gradual increase in the overall temperature in, of the Earth's atmosphere attributed to the greenhouse effect. Global warming begins with the greenhouse effect which is caused by the interaction between the Earth's atmosphere and the incoming radiation from the Sun. And what causes global warming? So global warming is caused by when there's too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere which acts as a blanket trapping heat and warming the planet. And also, as we burn fossil fuels like coal or burning forests to create plantation, carbon dioxide is accumulated and overloads the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous oxide are also responsible for the cause of global warming. So what is methane and nitrous oxide? Methane is emitted from natural sources such as wetlands as well as human activities such as leakage from natural gas system and the raising of livestock. So um, methane lifetime in the atmosphere is much shorter than carbon dioxide but however it is more efficient at trapping radiation as compared to carbon dioxide. So what is the effect on global warming? Global warming has caused ice worldwide to melt faster leading to an increase in sea levels and also many species and plants are also moving their range northward or higher altitude as a result of warmer temperature. Precipitation like rain and snow and also increase across the globe on average. And so how global warming may affect us? It will affect the air causing allergies and asthma for some people and also smoke pollution in some areas may also cause asthma. And global warming will also cause infectious diseases like food and waterborne illnesses. Warming of the earth temperature will cause ecosystem destructions and will also contribute to widespread infections like malaria Dengue fever and diarrhea illnesses. People living in poverty will be hit hardest by this global surge in infectious disease. So here is the solutions on how to reduce global warming. You can perform the three R's, which is to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Using less heat by using less air conditioning, or we can drive less and drive smart by driving lesser to reduce carbon fuels produced by vehicles. We also can buy energy efficient products to save money and also energy. And also, we can turn off our switch when not in use. And last but not least, we can encourage others to conserve as everyone has a part to play to take care of our planet. So we have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you.